Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today we're talking about a ship that was removed back in the day for being a little bit too overpowered. And that is the Tier 8 Premium Soviet Light Cruiser, the Kutuzov. Now, this cruiser was introduced all the way back in update 5. Point, uh, I think it was 5.3? 5. 5.2? That was, uh, for those of you that don't know, that was about seven years ago, eight, seven, eight years ago. And she was removed in update, what was it, 6.12? Uh, uh, yeah, 6.12, she was removed. The same update that we got the nerf to smoke firing. So she was removed because she's was, back in the day, quite the terrifying ship to come across. And she had two elements to her that made her this good and those were first off her main battery firing range as you can see on screen even today this is quite nuts for a light cruiser let alone a tier 8 light cruiser to have a 19.1 kilometer main battery firing range that's right they nerfed the small lens she couldn't have 19 kilometer range anymore but the Kutuzov here she still has 19 kilometer range and her smoke screen. This is a Soviet light cruiser with a smoke screen. And it's not it's not a super long smoke screen like the American smoke screen or anything like that, but it is a fairly long duration smoke that she can sit in and quite comfortably farm. And it's too much for the water warships of six to seven years ago. Oh how things have changed. But the Kutuzov. What is it? Well, this is a real steel historical ship. This ship was really constructed by the Soviet Navy in 1954. She was part of the, well, depending upon who you ask, if you ask the Soviet, sh her design project was number 68 Biz, and NATO called her the Servlov, Ser Servlov, Servlov class, I believe that's how one of those pronunciations is probably right in there. And since it was a post-war ship, didn't really see much action at all. She, well, the whole design of the class was that they were supposed to be support cruisers for the Stalingrad, which is the same Stalingrad that we have in-game as well. Soviets planned to build 30 of these suckers to support the Stalingrads, and I believe the plan too is that they would be made of larger fleet groups where you would have the uh, Savisky Soyuz battleship class in the centerpiece of these groups or the uh, aircraft carriers that the Soviets were planning after the war but uh, Stalin died and all that went out the window but not before they built 14 of these things now the Kutuzov herself you can see her today she is preserved as a museum ship in Novorossiysk and she's actually part of the St. Petersburg Central Naval Museum this is the Central Naval Museum that used to work with Wargaming when Wargaming still operated in, Ru in Russia uh, less studios would go there for many references in uh, ship design documents and such uh, but since Wargaming has left Russia, that is, of course, no more. But anyway, the Kutuzov in game. Her closest comparison would, of course, be the Tier 8 Chapiev, and that's what she's pretty often compared to. In fact, she does have the same guns as the Chappy as well. But anyway, so the Kutuzov, what does she have? Well, if you look at her armor, she has a 25mm bow, and she has a, another strip at the bottom that is normally where the icebreaker bows would go in the Soviet cruisers, but there's no icebreaker bow here. It's 25 millimeters as well. Her upper plating is 25 as well. Her central citadel armor belt is 100 millimeters. Her stern is all 25 as well. Bow and stern deck is 25. Mid deck is 27 millimeters. If you strip all of this armor away, you'll see that her citadel is pretty high. Not stupidly high like uh like uh, some cruisers at mid-tier but it is not a hard cruiser to citadel she has slightly better armor than the chappy um from my experience with the kutuzov you can angle steeply enough to bounce most of the very painful shells off of your citadel armor belt uh, but there's a very fine line between that and half of your health disappearing in a single salvo. Again, from my experience with her here. I mean, it, it, again, it, it's a Soviet mid-tier, mid-to-higher-tier cruiser that isn't, you know, a tier 9 or tier 10. Those of you that play the game for a while know what to expect here.
In terms of survivability, she has 44,300 hit points with the uh, commander build that I am running that does have survival survivability expert. Throw that commander build right up here again so you guys can see what I have on this ship. Now her main battery guns. This is of course the highlight of this ship. You get 12 152 millimeter guns with a base reload time of 8 seconds. A 180 time of 21.7 seconds with Grease the Gears equipped. And the main battery dispersion, maximum dispersion of 153 meters with the um, dispersion module equipped as well. And that 19.1 kilometer range. Which again is super nice to have on, well, any cruiser, let alone a tier 8 cruiser. So keep that, that in mind. This is a tier 8 cruiser. There's a 19.1 kilometer range on 152 millimeter guns. That's longer range than a lot of tier 8 battleships. That's a longer range than a lot of the battleships that this thing can see. Because again, it's tier 8. It can see all the way down to tier 6. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little nutty here. But speaking about these guns too, uh, the HE does a maximum damage of 2200. Uh, with IFHE, which I do have equipped, she has an 8% fire chance. Without IFHE, this of course would be 16, and that is with the uh, flags and the skill equipped as well. Uh, normally it is 13%. And with IFHE, I can pin 37 millimeters with my guns. Without IFHE, it's 30 millimeters. I do take IFHE on the Kutuzov. Um, again, my picks of what ships run IFHE really normally depends upon the fire chance. With the flags and the commander skill, I still feel like I get plenty of fires with the ship. And plus with IFHE, I, I can pin you know 37 millimeters of armor, which is very, very, very useful on a tier 8 uh, cruiser because you get over that 32 millimeter threshold, which means when you're up tier to tier 10 and tier 9, you can pin the extremities of just about everything that you can see. So that is very, very, very good. Speaking of very good, the Velocity for these shells for both the AP and the HE is 950 meters a second, which is screaming hot. And they do get the Soviet shell arcs, which means that these shells are exceptionally flat, which means that shooting at that 19.1 kilometer range is actually quite comfortable in the Kutuzov with the Soviet shells, the Soviet shell arcs, and the high velocity. Now, the AP does a maximum damage of 3300. And again, travels at 950 meters a second. Now, the HE on this ship is, of course, what you're probably going probably going to be using uh, most of the time in this ship. Um, again, she has been removed, but she is still available in the Santa containers. So there's a good chance that if you have a lot of premiums and you do try to pick this thing up around Christmas time, you might get get it but if you do pick it up or if you do have it you just haven't played it um again he is what you're going to be primarily primarily using but don't discount the ap on this thing either because it's soviet ap it hits much harder for its caliber and at medium to close range this will mess up many a cruiser and even battleships too they show you a flat broadside of course aim for the upper belt for the bow for the stern for the superstructure and you'll be doing quite a bit of damage to those ships with 12 guns every 8 seconds. Now she does have secondaries. She has 12 100 millimeter secondary guns. Uh, these do uh, act as dual purpose AA and that's primarily what they use for. Again, it's, it's not a secondary ship by a stretch of the imagination, but if you want to know, the reload in 4 seconds, they have a 6.9 kilometer maximum range after the secondary uh, change with the command rework. 1400 maximum damage, 5% chance of causing a fire on the target, 21 millimeters of pin, and they come out the tubes at 1000 meters a second. And for the torpedo, she gets some quite usable torpedoes. She gets two sets of tubes with five torpedoes per set, and they travel for eight kilometers. So very, very, very useful torpedoes here. Again, especially at tier eight, where a lot of cruisers, if they have torpedoes, they're what, four, five, six kilometers? And the Kutuzov is here with 8 kilometer torps. That's something. They do a maximum damage rating of 14,400. They travel at 60 knots and are detectable from 1.2 kilometers away. She does get the airstrike instead of the depth charges rolling off of her deck. So that is, of course, a massive pickup for her. A, she has an A rating of 73. Uh, from my experience, it's nothing too spectacular. I mean, maybe back in the day it had decent AA, but today it's kind of... Uh, you can pick DFA if you want, and that'll uh, that will of course help her out quite a bit. But 
Yeah, not an A, but by any stretch of the imagination. Maneuverability. She's surprisingly maneuverable, especially for a Soviet cruiser. As most of you know, Soviet cruisers normally have exceptionally uh, big turning circles or long rudder shift times for their tier. That's not the case here with the Kutuzov. It's actually so good, I, I built into it a little bit. I put the uh, rudder mod on my Kutuzov. So her maximum speed with a speed flag is 34.7 knots. She has a 760 meter turning circle radius and a rudder shift time, rudder shift time of 5.2 seconds. That is with the, the first steering gears mod equipped though. So you take that off, it's I believe it's around seven-ish seconds, which is still pretty good for a Soviet cruiser. Consumable with the mod and with the commander skills, 11.4 kilometers. So very, very, very nice there. For her consumables, we talked about this a little bit already, she does get a smoke generator. Now, the smoke generator is active for 23 seconds. It takes 89 seconds for it to disperse. It has a 0.45 kilometer radius. It reloads at 152 seconds, and you get three charges of this with Superintendent. I'm double checking here to make sure I do. Yep, I do have Superintendent equipped, so normally you only get two charges of that smoke screen. And then you get your choice of DFAA or Hydroacoustic Search that goes out to five kilometers, and then Damage Con. Okay, so all of that on the Kudazov back in the day. Think about that. A cruiser that, w that could go 19.1 kilometers with its HE, a smoke screen that was a pretty long duration for a Soviet cruiser. You put those two combinations together and you have an absolute just monster of a ship that for World Warship 7 years ago was pretty insane for a tier 8 ship to have. Uh, like I was men mentioning at the start of the video, think about Smolensk, a tier 10 cruiser that could go 19.1 kilometers with Soviet HE shells that Wargaming decided to indirectly nerf with the Commander uh, rework and the IFHE rework. And yeah, it, it hit the Smolensk pretty hard. I mean, Smolensk is still a monster from within 16 kilometers, but 19.1 kilometer Smolensk can't hurt you anymore. 90.1 Kutuzov, however, can still hurt you today. Now, however, though, that's really the only thing that stands out on this ship today is that exceptionally long HE range. I mean, it's so easy to shoot at 19.1 kilometers, too. It's not like it's got a long range, but it can't really utilize it. Kind of like how you can give uh, Montana an almost 30 kilometer fi uh, main battery firing range, which would be ridiculous in the Montana because your shells would get there the next day because of how slow the American shell shells are. But with the Kutuzov here, you can make use of that with the properties that the shells have the good the good um shell arcs the excellent velocity and the excellent characteristics of the soviet shells you can make use of that quite easily in the kutuzov so you can see how seven years ago this ship was deemed un unacceptable by the devs and she had to be removed after only being in the game for i don't think she made it a full patch cycle because she got introduced in like 5.3 and then removed in 6.12 which was again the um the smoke firing nerfs, ironically, you know, the, the ship that's excellent at smoke firing gets removed when they actually give her a little bit of balance there. Um, but anyway, in today's World Warship, she's still very good at what she does, but I wouldn't say she's OP anymore, especially with how much Tier 8 ships wind up in Tier 10 games. Now, if this ship does get in, like, a Tier 6 game where she's top tier... Absolutely, this thing is going to be nuts. You know, again, a 19.1 kilometer HE spammy cruiser in a tier 6 game. That's a little bit too much. But again, think about how often you are actually top tier in your tier 8. Not too much anymore. We've had so many more smoke firing HE spammy cruisers get added into the game since 7 years ago to today. So I don't really think the Kutuzov is insanely OP. It kind of fits right in, honestly, with how the meta is right now, especially at, at high tier, especially in tier 10 games. It's so easy to sit back in the ship and just farm down whatever it is you're shooting at. Again, with IFHE on, you can easily damage tier 10 ships. And if you do have this ship, this is an excellent f credit farming ship if you still have her with that HE with IFHE equipped, because it's so easy to farm down tier 10 ships with this ship. And you get that uh, economic bonus for doing damage to a ship that's um, two tiers higher than you get about a 20% boost for damaging a tier 10 ship and a tier 8 ship. So, yeah, absolutely. If you got this ship, 
you still got quite a, a gem. I wouldn't say it's OP, like I said before. I would put this in like the very good category of ships today when it's in like a tier 8 or above game. But yeah, if she gets in a tier 6 game, that's insane. And you got a pretty busted ship there on your hands. I don't think they're going to bring the ship back for purchase anytime soon. She might wind up in an auction with the way they've been doing auctions recently. And if it's for like credits or doubloons... I'd say she might be worth it. I mean, you do get your your, your doubloons back now if you don't win the auction, but I want to go dumping dumping like you know hundreds of dollars to get this ship. Really, um, again, if you wanted, the best bet to do is just you know try your luck with the Christmas containers at the end of the year. If you already have a good number of premium ships, then that's of course improves your odds for getting the ship. But yeah, if she ever comes back up, I would say try to get her. She's a pretty good boat, really good boat in the right situation. But yeah, n n nothing that's worth throwing, you know, your your your, your holiday money away trying to get. But anyway, guys, that's Kudasov. It's thought it'd be interesting to look back at what was once a monstrosity in the game that had to be removed, but now is just kind of another he spammy tier eight cruiser. So guys, let me know you guys think about the Kudasov in the comments down below. Hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 40,000 subscribers, and I can't thank you guys enough for that. Again, hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.